230 million years ago, a fearsome apex predator lurked in the shadows of Triassic South America, an enigma in its era, foreshadowing the monstrous creatures yet to come. This was her Herasaurus. Herasaurus, a genus of Sauruscian dinosaur from the late Triassic, is a peculiar creature existing at the dawn of the dinosaurs. Its classification and place among the dinosaurs itself is mysterious. Before delving into the creature itself, let's explore its evolutionary roots. Herasaurus thrived just before dinosaurs seized control of the world. Although it was a likely dinosaur, its features make it incredibly challenging to categorize. Three main theories surround its classification. It might be one of the earliest theropods, a Sauruscian or even a sister group to dinosaurs. The notion of it being a sister group to dinosaurs, however, lacks substantial support. Its distinct features, like its three-toed feet and other dinosaur-like characteristics, bolster its classification as a true dinosaur. Yet, the absence of overlapping wrist bones and an opposable thumb set it apart from a typical theropod. Another peculiar trait was the number of sacral vertebrae connected to its hip bones. A defining characteristic of dinosauria is having at least three vertebrae fused to the sacrum, but her Herasaurus only had two. Three vertebrae attached to the sacrum is a trait shared between dinosauria and some other archosaurs, but her Herasaurus seems to defy this rule. Leading scientists to classify it very basely in the dinosaur family tree, with its status as being a theropod being up in question. Regardless, this creature shows us quite a bit about early dinosaurian evolution. While dinosaurs were among the most dominant creatures ever to roam our planet, their origins remained shrouded in mystery. Herasaurus reveals that the theropod body style was highly effective even before it could be distinctly called a theropod. This was a lean creature with a lengthy tail and a relatively small head. Its powerful hind limbs, with short thighs and long feet, enabled it to be an incredibly swift runner compared to the other inhabitants of its environment. At approximately 6 meters 20 feet long and weighing around 350 kilograms 770 pounds it was a terrifying predator. The forelimbs of her aerosaurus were less than half the length of its hind limbs, with short upper arms and forearms, and relatively elongated hands. The first two fingers and thumb had curved, sharp claws for seizing prey, while digits four and five were small stubs without claws. These primitive features distinguished it from later dinosaurs. The arms were primarily used for grabbing prey to deliver lethal blows, though they could also scratch or slash, albeit not fatally. Its true killing power came from its jaws. Herasaurus had a long, narrow skull resembling primitive archosaurs more than later dinosaurs. Adult skulls reached up to 56 cm 22 inches long, while smaller specimens had 30 cm 12 inch skulls. Its skull was relatively small for its body, and it had five pairs of fenestri, two of which were for the eyes and nostrils. Herasaurus possessed a flexible joint in its lower jaw that could slide back and forth to deliver a gripping bite, an unusual specialization among dinosaurs that has evolved independently in some lizards. Its jaws were equipped with large, serrated teeth for biting and consuming flesh, and its neck was slender and flexible. Despite being a formidable predator, it was primitive compared to later, more specialized theropods. Herasaurus likely preyed on small to medium-sized herbivores, including other dinosaurs like Pisanosaurus, as well as more abundant Orionicosaurus and Synapsids. However, her Aerosaurus itself may have fallen prey to gigantic Rawasuchids like Sorosuchus. Puncture wounds found in one skull suggest these massive reptiles, similar to crocodiles with longer legs, were deadly adversaries for her Aerosaurus. Copolites containing small bones, but no plant fragments discovered in the Esquigualasto formation have been attributed to her Aerosaurus based on fossil abundance. Mineralogical and chemical analyses of these coprolites indicate that, if correctly assigned to Herasaurus, this carnivore could digest bone. Comparisons between the scleral rings of Herasaurus and modern birds and reptiles suggest it may have been cathemeral, active throughout the day and night in brief intervals. During the Triassic, many cold-blooded animals limited most of their activity to the warm daytime. Herasaurus may have exploited these creatures' metabolic limitations, 
able to employ high-energy hunting strategies against their slower prey. This captivating creature, Hererosaurus, was among the first to adopt the iconic theropod body style. Its cousins or possible descendants would eventually rule the world, but her era Saurus itself was destined for extinction. The Triassic period, particularly its closing phase, was a volatile world and very few could weather it for long. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe as there are more to come and have a great day.